Welcome to my course on genome editing and engineering. We are discussing about uh, IPSC models uh, 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 currently. So, now today we are going to discuss about uh, the ZDefense and how they are used uh, in, in creating IPSC uh, models. ZDefense have been used uh, for generation of engineered lines to study cell fate determination and improve IPSC D differ uh, differentiation protocols as well as to uh, produce cell type specific reporter systems for the investigation of disease uh, pathogenesis. Uh, ZFN based genome editing was exploited for the correction of genetic mutation uh, in patient derived IPSCs or for insertion of known disease relevant mutations in IPSCs derived from healthy uh, uh, patients uh, allowing direct investigation of uh, specific genomic alterations and disease uh, phenotypes. The generation of IPSCs and gene correction by nucleofaction of ZFN constructs. Uh, dermal fibroblasts obtained from skin biopsies of patients with a PD and healthy control were cultured. Uh, reprogramming was adopted uh, from Takahashi et al. Uh, human IPSCs were cultured on mitomycin C inactivated uh, MEFs. Gene correction was performed by nucleofaction by uh, uh, which uh, ZFN constructs targeting LRKK2. Uh, they demonstrated that uh, neurons differentiated from IPSCs derived from patients with Parkinson's disease harboring LRKK2 G2019S exhibit multiple phenotypes including reduced neurite outgrowth and increased sensitivity uh, to stress. Uh, they performed the gene correction by nucleofaction of ZFN constructs tar targeting this LRKK to gene. By using gene corrected isogenic cultures and the introduction of the mutation into a control IPSC line, they discovered the genes that contribute to Parkinson's disease associated phenotypes in cultured MDA neurons uh, induced by LRKK2 G2019S. And uh, after all uh, these uh, probing, they concluded that human induced pluripotent stem cell derived neurons with LRKK G2019S which exhibit Parkinsonian neuron neurodegeneration can be rescued by gene correction of the LRKK2 mutation by nucleofaction of uh, ZFN uh, constructs. Uh, for a detailed uh, methods and procedure uh, for conducting these experiment, you may refer to uh, cell stem cell um, 12, uh, page number uh, 354. In the absence of uh, translational in vitro disease models, uh, tautopathies such as uh, frontotemporal dementia uh, remain uh, incurable. Uh, the microtubule associated protein tau or MAPT gene plays an important role in these. Uh, frontotemporal uh, dementia uh, pathogenesis. Varhan has used uh, gene finger nucleases to introduce two MAPT mutations into healthy donor induced pluripotent stem cells IPSCs. The IVS10 plus 16 mutation uh, increases the expression of 4R tau while the P30 301S mutation is uh, pro uh, aggregant. Whole transcriptome analysis of MAPT uh, IVS 10 plus 16 neurons reveals neuronal subtype differences, reduced neural progenitor proliferation potential and aberrant WNTSHS uh, signaling. Notably, these neurodevelopmental phenotypes could be recapitulated in neurons from patients carrying the MAPT uh, mutation. Moreover, the additional pro-aggregant P301S mutation revealed additional phenotypes such as an increased calcium burst frequency, reduced uh, lysosomal activity, tau oligomerization and neurodegeneration. This series of IPSCs could serve as a platform to unravel a potential link between the pathogenic 4R tau and FTD and this is an important development uh, for a disease which is incurable as of 
now. Let us now discuss about uh, talents in IPSC. The genetic targeting of a therapeutic cassette expressing the CSF 2 RA uh, coup uh, transient from the ubiquitous CAC promoter into the AAV S1 locus uh, corrects the disease phenotype in herpep specific IPSCs and their uh, progeny. In an uh, in vitro model targeted IPSCs and thereof derived macrophages showed stable CSF2 RA expression and restored GM CSF dependent signaling and functionality such as STAT5 phosphorylation or GM CSF uptake. Uh, certainly extensive uh, studies further particularly in animal models will be required to underline the feasibility, safety and efficacy of gene corrected IPSCs uh, derived macrophages to be used as a potential therapy for HARPEP. So, HARPEP uh, or hereditary pulmonary alveolar uh, proteinosis is a rare but life threatening lung disorder which is characterized by the inability of alveolar macrophage to clear the alveolar air species from surfactant phospholipids. HARPEP is caused by a defect in the uh, CSF2 RA gene uh, coding for the GM CSF receptor alpha chain or CD116. So, here you can see high magnification micrograph of pulmonary alveolar uh, proteinosis. The images show the characteristics air space filling with focally dense hyaline globs known as chatter or uh, dense bodies. In the absence of therapeutic options, Kuhn and associates attempted a cell and gene therapy for its treatment. They tried intrapulmonary transplantation of gene corrected macrophages derived from HARPEP specific induced pluripotent stem cells employing uh, talents. The targeted insertion of a codon optimized uh, CSF2 RS cDNA uh, driven by the hybrid cytomegalovirus CMB uh, early enhancer second beta actin CAG promoter into the AVS1 locus led to robust expression of the CSF2 RA gene uh, in gene edited HARPEP IPSCs as well as their of uh, derived uh, uh, macrophages. So, here is the schematic for the generation and genotyping of gene edited uh, PAP patient derived IPSCs. Uh, you can see the scheme of the uh, AAVS1 target site and the CSF2 RA coup donor plasmid. The donor plasmid is used as template for homologous recombination at the intended target site. The puromycin selection cassette and the CAG driven CSF2 RA coup genes are flanked by AAVS1 specific homology arms. The AAVS1 specific talent binding sites are located in intron 1 of the triple P1R12C gene or AAB. Uh, S1 uh, locus. In B, we can see the experimental scheme uh, for the generation, selection and expansion of clones with CSF2 RA coup integration within the AAVS1 locus of HARPEP uh, IPSCs. Briefly, this study provided a proof of concept that talent mediated integration of the CSF2 RA gene into the AVS1 safe harbor locus uh, in patient specific IPSCs represent an efficient strategy to generate functionally corrected monocytes or macrophages, which in the future may serve as a source for an autologous cell based gene therapy for the treatment of HARPAP. Reprogramming of IPSCs. For the clinical application of IPSCs, uh, it was important to demonstrate that reprogramming could be achieved uh, without stably integrating the caseome factors into the genome of the somatic cell. Such factor free IPSCs were generated by independent methods such as the excision of programming factors using the CRE log P, the piggyback system by avoiding integration of the programming factors altogether using non integrating viruses and direct transfection of the reprogramming factors as either uh, mRNA. 
What worked well for uh, mouse, however, turned out to be inefficient in human cell reprogramming initially. Uh, several technical improvements have to be made to optimize human induced pluripotent stem cell production from stomatic cells. Uh, these you, uh, you included uh, reprogramming protocols, culture conditions and IPSC characterization procedures to test for the pluripotency of newly isolated IPSCs. Today the technology is largely optimized, streamlined and increasingly more accessible to laboratories without prior stem cell experience and nowadays IPSC derivation maintenance and differentiation are a popular and widely used research tool in all aspects of biomedical research. One of the most attractive feature of the IPSC technology is that it allows the isolation of patient derived cells carrying the genetic alterations that cause the particular disease. SARS cells provide an readily available experimental system to study pathogenesis of the disease in an in vitro system and to devise potential therapeutic uh, uh, strategies. So, uh, in this picture uh, we can see a patient uh, from which the somatic cells are isolated and then these are reprogrammed uh, using the OSCOM uh, factors and thereby we can get patient specific induced pluripotent uh, stem cell. These may be either taken for uh, in vitro differentiation and used for developmental biology studies or uh, for disease relevant uh, cells for understanding the disease mechanisms and used further for target identification and validation in drug development and the knowledge would be study, uh, applied finally on the uh, patient. On the left hand side you can see that uh, these patient specific IPSCs uh, can be used for gene editing and then we may genetically correct the IPSCs and go for in vitro differentiation and generate healthy cells which can be used for cell uh, replacement uh, therapy. So, in either case uh, we have a huge potential of IPSCs in, in, in uh, uh, association with uh, CRISPR uh, Cas9 uh, technologies. So, we may also uh, develop uh, animal models uh, using these technologies. So, let us discuss about the editing the genome of human induced putem, uh, human induced pluripotent stem cells with CRISPR Cas9 for developing uh, disease uh, models. So, application of the uh, induced pluripotent stem cell model of disease to high throughput screening uh, is possible. Cells derived from patients with disease and healthy control can be used to generate disease relevant cell types. Uh, which can be phenotypically compared with each other. Such cells can be generated in sufficient numbers to be able to perform whole genome genetic screens to identify molecular and cellular mechanisms of disease and therapeutic targets. And also for high throughput drug screening to identify compounds that may be able to revert the disease phenotype. Differences between patient derived and control cells can be used to identify potential therapeutic targets or Agents. So, we see that uh, genome editing uh, in IPSC uh, for disease modeling has lot of scope and importance. Here we have a healthy patient and a, a disease patient giving rise to healthy patient IPSCs and uh, patient specific IPSCs uh, from with the help of uh, gene editing. Uh, we can go for disease model IPSCs or uh, we can go for corrected IPSCs. And then in the case of disease model uh, IPSCs, we can go for disease relevant cell types and go for comparison of the uh, phenotypes. Similarly, also in the case of 
corrected IPSCs, we can compare uh, between the uh, two uh, uh, populations. So, IPSCs can be derived uh, from healthy as well as a diseased patient as so, shown over here. And uh, to minimize the variability due to genetic background, uh, genome editing can be used to either correct the patient derived cells or to introduce putative causative relations in the cells derived from healthy individuals. This leads to isogenic pairs of cell lines that identify the true impact of the engineered change on the uh, cellular uh, phenotype. What are the various strategies for genome editing using CRISPR-Cas9? These are all known to you. We can go for a gene knockout uh, or gene uh, knocking uh, or conditional uh, knockouts by uh, inversion uh, coin. So, this is a CRISPR enhanced HDR uh, can be used to introduce a Cre recombinase invertible cassette uh, flanked by log P sites into an artificial intron. This contains a splice acceptor site followed by a transcriptional termination signal PA. So, in one orientation it causes premature termination and mutation of the gene. In the opposite orientation splicing occurs around the cassette allowing the normal gene products to be produced from this allele. The second allele is disrupted by non-homologous adjoining induced indels uh, as in the uh, figure uh, A. We can also go for SNP introduction using CRISPR-Cas9 uh, technology and also with advancements we can today produce carless SNP introduction or epigenetic editing using uh, dead Cas9. These are all uh, these known to you from prior uh, discussions. Uh, what is important uh, using IPSCs is the quality of the IPSCs. So, we have to have quality control of IPSCs and recognition uh, of the morphological differences. Uh, the comparability of stem cell lines from different individuals is needed for IPSC lines to be used in uh, therapeutics among critical quality procedures. Uh, the following are important uh, or distinguishable short tandem repeat analysis. This is the comparison of specific loci on the DNA of the samples. It is used in measuring an exact number of repeating units. One unit consists of 12 to 13 nucleotides repeating many times on the DNA strand. A polymerase chain reaction is used to check the lens of short tandem repeats. The genotyping procedures of source tissues, cells and IPSC seed and master cell banks uh, is recommended. Identity analysis is also one important quality control uh, aspect. The unintentional switching of lines uh, resulting in other stem cell line contamination uh, requires rigorous assay for cell line identification. Residual vector testing is also very, very important. An appearance of reprogramming vectors integrated into the host genome is uh, hazardous and testing their presence is a mandatory procedure. It is a commonly used procedure for generating high quality IPSC lines. An acceptable threshold in high quality research grade IPSC line collection is less than or maximum equal to 1 plasmid copies per 100 cells. So, it is less than 1 percent. During the procedure, two different regions common to all plasmids should be used as specific targets such as EBNA and CAG sequences. To accurately represent the test reactions, a standard curve needs to be prepared in a carrier of GR, GDNA from a well characterized HPSC line. For calculations of plasmid copies per cell, it is crucial to incorporate internal reference GDNA sequences to allow the quantification of, uh, for example, ribonuclease P or human telomerase reverse uh, transcriptases. Another important quality control parameter is the karyotype. A long term culture of stem cells can accumulate culture driven uh, mutations. Uh, because of that, it is crucial to pay additional attention to genomic integrity. Karyotype test can be performed by resuscitating representative helicots and culturing them for 48 to 72 hours before harvesting cells for karyotype uh, analysis. If abnormalities are found within the first 20 karyotypes, the analysis must be repeated on a fresh sample. When the situation is repeated, the line is evaluated as abnormal, repeated abnormalities must be recorded. 
viral testing when assessing the quality of stem cells uh, all tests for harmful human adventitious agents must be performed this procedure must be performed in the case of non geno free uh, culture agents uh, using of uh, flow cytometry this is a technique that utilizes light to count and profile cells in a heterogeneous fluid mixture it allows researchers to accurately and rapidly collect data from heterogeneous fluid mixtures with live cells cells are passed through a narrow channel one by one uh, during light illumination sensors detect light emitted or refracted from the cells the last step uh, is data analysis compilation and integration into a comprehensive picture uh, of the sample a flow cytometry can be used to assess the uh, quality of the cells uh, phenotypic pluripotency assays recognizing undifferentiated cells is crucial in successful stem cell therapy among other characteristics stem cells appear to have a distinct uh, morphology with a high nucleus to cytoplasm ratio and a prominent uh, nucleolus uh, cells appear to be flat with defined borders in contrast to differentiating colonies which appear as loosely located cells with rough borders it is important that images of ideal and poor quality colonies for each cell line are kept in laboratories so whenever there is a doubt about the quality of culture uh, it can always be checked according to the representative image embryo body formation or directed differentiation of monolayer cultures to produce cell types uh, representative of all three embryonic germ layers must be performed it is important to note that colonies cultured under different conditions may have uh, different uh, morphologies histone modification and uh, dna methylation quality control can be achieved by using epigenetic analytic tools such as histone modification or dna methylation when stem cells differentiate the methylation process silence pluripotency genes which reduces differentiation potential although other genes may undergo demethylation to uh, become overexpressed it is important to emphasize that stem cell identity together with its morphological characteristics is also related to its epigenetic profile uh, according to brinley there is a relationship between epigenetic changes pluripotency and cell expansion conditions which emphasizes that unmethylated region appear to be serum uh, dependent other important parameters are the presence of uh, bacteria or uh, single no nucleotide polymorphisms uh, bacterial or fungal sterility test can be divided into cultures or broad based tests uh, for all the procedures must be recommended by pharmacopoeia for the jurisdiction in which the work is performed uh, in snp polymorphism arrays uh, uh, it, we detect the population of polymorphisms by enabling the detection of sub chromosomal changes and the copy neutral loss of heterozygosity as well as an uh, indication of cellular uh, transformation the snp assay consists of three components first is labeling fragmented nucleic acid sequences with fluorescent dyes second is an array that contains immobilized allele specific oligonucleotide probes and the last component detects records and eventually uh, interprets the signal ipsc banking european bank for induced pluripotent stem cells was established to address the increasing demand by ipsc researchers for quality controlled disease relevant research grade ipsc lines data and cell services this kind of banking services reduces the work of researchers uh, to a large extent a second project phase uh, was launched on march uh, 2019 incorporating key members of the first project phase uh, and it continue to distribute disease relevant and high quality uh, IPSCs along with comprehensive uh, data set. The quality control of IPSCs are very, very important which we have discussed in the earlier uh, section. And uh, this European bank for induced pluripotent stem cells try to maintain the highest quality of IPSCs and uh, provide to uh, the researcher uh, network. So, similar to this European bank for induced pluripotent stem cells, uh, there is also a uh, bank in Taiwan uh, called the Taiwan Human Disease IPSC uh, Consortium. And you can see the uh, workflow of uh, both the 
uh, repositories uh, uh, in this uh, flow diagram. Uh, they are donor samples and then uh, the IPSC generation takes place uh, in the second phase. There is a programming, reprogramming methods and the culture history are recorded. Expansion of the cells are uh, carried out under feeder free culture system. Then IPSC is made from academic institutions, commercial companies may also be uh, deposited to this European bank. Then characterizations are uh, there, Rosalind Cell Sciences, uh, NIBSC and uh, Depositor Center cooperate to offer the characterizations which include the sterility, viability, viral screening, cell phenotype, chromosomal stability, pluripotent potential and the genetic identity uh, which we discussed at length in the earlier slides. And then finally, these are uh, sent for uh, banking or uh, for the repository. A cell line is frozen in uh, about uh, 50 vials, 2 vials as backup at Roslin Cell Sciences, 10 percent of vials at Mirror Banks, uh, there are many other uh, similar banks. And Fauna for IBM T and 90 percent of the vials at ECACC, which serve as main storage and distribution center uh, to the customers. In the Taiwan Human Disease IPSC Consortium, uh, similar approach is uh, there with uh, the donor sample uh, which are coded and then uh, these are tested for chromosomal abnormalities and then uh, they are reprogrammed via Sendai virus induction and then uh, transin free uh, tested, uh, cells shifted from feeder dependent culture to feeder free culture. IPS is a frozen as working cell bank backup, then performed FEMATRIX SNP 6.0 array for SNP genotyping and uh, genetic variation. Then these are also characterized uh, using various methods and they are frozen uh, in 6 to 10 vials at master cell bank and working cell bank for each clone, uh, quality control, uh, sterility, authenticity and post hot viability and then certificate of analysis is also issued information about cell lines posted on website and these are accessible by all uh, researchers in uh, Taiwan. So, there are many uh, such IPSC banks worldwide and uh, uh, some of these uh, are uh, accessible to researchers uh, globally. Uh, majority of them are government owned and they are also private owned uh, like uh, Fujifilm Cellular Dynamics International which is owned by uh, Fujifilm. And, uh, there are also uh, certain uh, owned by certain universities like the University of uh, Wisconsin and you can see the huge investment involved in uh, building up of these uh, IPSC uh, banks. We have to take into consideration certain things for generating IPSC disease models. Uh, these are the following uh, important considerations uh, for using IPSC as a uh, disease model. Number one, whether the disease is uh, monogenic or polygenic, uh, if the penetration of the mutation is uh, known, the age of onset, whether differentiation into an appropriate cell type is uh, possible and if there is an appropriate phenotypic readout at a molecular or uh, cellular level. Uh, it is important for any IPSC disease model to pinpoint a cell type in which the disease manifests uh, to be able to differentiate effectively into these cells and to identify a molecular or cellular phenotypic readout of the disease state. Differentiation protocols are now available to efficiently generate a large variety of lineages and many others are being developed using cocktails of small molecule inhibitors or transcription factor overexpression. Such protocols often result in a mixed population and purification of the desired cells. Uh, for example, uh, by fluorescence activated cell sorting using an appropriate marker or reporter gene can be used to enrich the population of uh, interest. Another important consideration with the use of IPSCs in disease modeling is, is that these cells and their differentiated derivatives often resemble those of uh, fertile origin and therefore, the age of onset of any disease uh, becomes uh, relevant. In spite of these may various developments, there are certain limitations. Uh, the benefit of IPSC technology are uh, undeniable. As you can see from the 
uh, various potential and uh, the discussion we have made regarding certain uh, diseases. Uh, there are some limitations uh, in the use for modeling certain uh, disease states as well. Such in vitro models have immense power in terms of uh, scalability and being able to apply techniques such as high throughput genetic or pharmacological screening that would not be possible uh, technically uh, and difficult in an uh, in vivo uh, setting. Uh, however, they are limited in their availability uh, in, the, in the ability to recapitulate complex tissue architecture both in terms of the uh, complexity of cell types as well as their spatial organization making analysis of many physiological or system level phenotypes uh, challenging. Highly defined co-culture systems can be beneficial in some situations for instance where the effects are non-cell autonomous or rely on cell-cell signaling. Most genetic diseases are due to a small contribution from, from a large number of genes thus polygenic disorders are inherently more difficult to study than monogenic diseases as the penetrance and severity of the phenotype due to any single mutations are lower. Genetic targeting strategies in combination with efficient differentiation protocols uh, will provide a powerful tool for autologous IPSC based therapies uh, in the future. To sum up, we can see here a patient uh, from whom the patient specific somatic cells has been isolated and reprogrammed uh, using uh, various factors whose which, which may be OSCOM or uh, also including nanoglin 28 and uh, it generates patient specific human induced pluripotent stem cells and these may be further differentiated into different type of cells and used for various applications like tissue engineering, regenerative medicine, drug development screening and uh, disease modeling which is the focus of this uh, major focus of this particular uh, lecture. So, the potential applications of human induced pluripotent stem cells and gene editing combined together is uh, quite huge as we have discussed in these uh, particular lectures. Uh, in conclusion, uh, we need to remember uh, that human induced pluripotent stem cells are generated from the reprogramming of the patient specific healthy or disease somatic cells. Gene editing tools uh, like CRISPR, Cas9, ZFN, Talens generate isogenic cell lines harboring specific genetic mutations uh, in the healthy induced pluripotent stem cells and also can correct disease causing mutations in the patient population. The generated human induced pluripotent stem cells are then redifferentiated into various cell types and or tissues. Differentiated isogenic human IPSCs are used in drug development screening process, disease modeling and tissue reengineering and they are also preserved in biobanks for supply to various researchers. On the other side the differentiated disease human IPSCs could be further employed for disease modeling and drug development screening when genetic mutations are corrected then cell based therapy and tissue regeneration purposes uh, can be also achieved. These are some of the references from which uh, we have included various texts as well as uh, figures uh, for details you can uh, read them. With this we come to the end of this lecture. Thank you for your uh, patient hearing. Mm -hmm.